So first off, just a quick snapshot of what the actual portal looks like. So again, you know, the problem statement we had is that we work with 100 plus carriers and most of them had some sort of, of login portal just like this web based where you could access and, and you could see their trucks hauling our, our products and the location of their trucks. But for my team especially and for our wholesalers as well, um, I don't have enough time in you know, the day to be able to log into hundreds of different portals and track down shipments and then you know, interface that back to a single point of contact that we can then use that to leverage uh, to, you know, to make better decisions. So we partnered with a company called 10.4 who was able to create an interface for us where we can log into one application and I can see the real time tracking on all trucks from multiple carriers and not only can I see where my trucks are, but I can see where they've been. I can see the estimation of when they will actually deliver. And I can also see the contents on that truck. And at the same time that my team can use this interface, our wholesalers can also use this interface, narrowed down for just their inbound shipments to you know, see the exact same type of data. Um, and, and you can see there's these, these little blue dots here, right? So in this case, it's close to every 15 minutes, we get a ping uh, that shows the current location of that truck. And if you hover over it, then you, you can actually follow the evolution of we started at the Baldwinsville Brewery, uh, picked up a load, and we're tracking west across the country, and we're going to the Portland, Oregon facility. So it's really incredible to kind of see that in real time and see the location of that truck. Um, you can also see um, what product is on that truck. So first off, if, if you want to search, like, you know, let's say that we have a critical out of stock somewhere in the country um, on Shock Top Half Barrels, and we want to see for that wholesaler that services the POC that's out of stock, um, you know, first off, do they have inventory, yes or no? And if no, when is that inventory going to arrive to that wholesaler ship so they can actually deliver it to that POC? Um, so you can search for that wholesaler for shock top half barrels. It'll narrow it down to just the loads arriving with that product. And then it'll also allow you to click into the load to see um, when that load's planned to arrive and the current status of that truck. With that, um, we also can start to geofence all of our assets. So breweries and DCs and wholesalers, right? We can actually map that out. And we used to have this, this problem where we had to rely on two different pieces of information to actually confirm that the product delivered. One was the wholesaler. So the wholesaler would send us once a day batch trucks that arrived for the current day's business. So there's a huge lag, right? So really you wouldn't know what actually delivered today till the next morning. The other piece was the actual carrier could send us an EDI message saying that the truck you know, delivered. Well, what we found is that you really need to match up both pieces of data because there were times where the carrier didn't deliver, but they messaged us that they did. And there were times where the wholesaler, uh, you know, vice versa, the wholesaler said the load didn't deliver, but we used the carrier's data to actually confirm that it did. So with this, we can actually, prior to the carrier sending us the EDI message, prior to the wholesaler batch updating us what trucks arrived, we can actually see when it trips this fence in real time. And when that asset, when that truck inbound to you know, a certain asset trips this fence, we then know exactly the location, the time, and then we can also start to track the, op the operational efficiencies of how quickly did we unload the asset, did we turn that asset. And we can start to leverage the data to go back to carriers and, and show that we're extremely um, you know, easy to work with. We're putting a focus on keeping their assets moving. We want to unload you and load you as quick as we possibly can. The carriers make money when they're moving. We understand that. Uh, so we want to be as efficient as possible for them. And we hope in return that we get better service and maybe even better rates. So this helps us uh, track this and, and get the, that trigger of, of when an asset delivers.